And my name is Shreya and I'm here with Meena Puri, an Ayurvedic practitioner. So Meena, can you tell us about how you got into this profession? Hi everyone, I'm Meena Puri, like Shreya said. I've been teaching yoga for over 20 years and I've been practicing Ayurvedic medicine for over five years. Uh, when I was teaching yoga, students from all walks of life, they would ask me many health-related questions. Many of them I could answer because I come from a lineage of Ayurvedic doctors. My dad and grandfather was an Ayurvedic doctor, along with medical doctors, so I grew up in an Ayurvedic household. Uh, so when I looked into completing the yoga offering, I came across Ayurvedic medicine and I started studying. Um, Ayurvedic medicine here. So the yoga and the Ayurveda together, they really offer a full circle of health-related services for anybody who's looking to increase the lifespan, increase the quality of So what is Ayurvedic medicine and how does it compare to Western medicine? Ayurvedic medicine comes from India. It's an 8,000 year old science and art. The knowledge was cognized by sages and seers who meditated about this information and who understand life, who understood human life and how human life and human body works. And so they cognized this uh, science that really explains how the human being is just not the physical body. The human being is more than the physical body, so mental, emotional, energetic. And also Ayurveda was developed as a spiritual path because ultimately the role of the human life, the role of the human being is to really evolve into our full potential and understand how to be fully human. Um, how it differs from Ayurvedic medicine and Western medicine are really two different, uh, two different sciences in the Ayurveda uh, practice, the treatment plan is number one, individualized. So it's not one size fits all approach. Number two, the focus is on creating health and creating health and happiness. So one is, is able to live a fulfilled life and it also offers spiritual guidance and tools for a householder to move through the stages of their life with fulfillment and ease. And whereas the uh, Western medicine is more a disease management system, and Western medicine is great for if you have acute conditions, and Ayurvedic medicine is more for chronic conditions, Ayurvedic medicine, in my practice, I, my job is to make sure that your chronic conditions are resolved and they do not become acute, so you may not need surgery, so you may not uh, resolve just to take the um, medications. And in the Ayurveda, the lifestyle is your medicine, how we live, what we eat, what we ingest through our senses, how we interact with our families, how we interact with the community, how we particularly interact with nature. It all determines the the kind of life and the health that you're going to experience. So it's Ayurvedic medicine is very empowering. It allows you to participate in your own health and your own well-being, and you really understand your own making as you're moving through the process. Western medicine is more a, a symptom-related approach where when the chronic conditions become acute and problematic enough, then the options become limited, so you're only limited to either taking medications, drugs, or surgery. In your opinion, who should uh, take Ayurvedic medicine and why? Uh, first of all, before I answer that question, I want to clarify what Ayurvedic medicine is. When we think of the word medicine, we think a pill. And so many times Ayurvedic medicine is confused with only herbal medicine. That's only 10% of Ayurvedic medicine. So Ayurvedic medicine is more than just herbal medicine. It is raising the level of your consciousness, your awareness, because ultimately it's that aware awareness heals. And um, Anybody who's looking to increase the quality of life, anybody who does not want to become sick, anybody who does not want to spend a zillion of dollars in healthcare, 
anybody who does not want to live the last few years in their life in nursing homes or debilitated or at the mercy of doctors and other healthcare helpers. And so in my current practice, I see anybody from hypertension to people looking for cancer support, um, um, women with menopause issues and weight gain problems, arthritis, chronic pain, many other chronic uh, conditions. So you would seek an Ayurvedic professional just like you would seek a medical doctor. It's just that the treatment plan will consist of uh, making a dietary changes, making lifestyle changes, uh, learning meditation, other healing light modalities, or yoga therapy, or counseling if that may be the need of the patient. Um, so really, if you are looking to partake and be responsible for your own health, uh, seek Ayurvedic medicine. Ayurvedic medicine is the umbrella for all natural medicine. And I also work with the medical doctor. So you could, uh, for instance, somebody who has already an acute condition, diabetes, they work hand in hand with the medical doctor and the holistic practitioners. Both can be done, but the number of medications are much, much reduced because uh, so many of the other changes are coming from making lifestyle changes, and that's where the Ayurvedic practitioners can help um, achieve that goal for anybody who's on a lot of medications. Mm -hmm. So what is it like to work with you, and how can someone schedule a consultation? So to uh, start working with me, number one step is to get an individual comprehensive consultation. The consultation consists of taking, for me to take the diagnostics, which is the pulse diagnosis, tongue, facial, postural. I pretty much am diagnosing you when you, the moment you walk into my office. And I take the entire medical history, your diet history, any medications that you might be on, and uh, sleep history, anything that can affect that is your health. And really, ultimately, everything does affect health. And uh, so once I have all this information, I then uh, put together a recommendation, a treatment plan for you. Uh, that can consist of, I always start with, the easiest thing that somebody can do with the most profound results because making changes is very hard for most people and uh, just begin to tweak a few few things and when people make changes they experience the results that itself is a teacher and motivates them to make further changes it can also involve um, herbal medicine or herbal formulas and making lifestyle changes, whether it's their sleep, sleeping pattern or eating pattern. And uh, many of the patients that I work with, ultimately, how we do one thing is how we do everything else. Uh, and if there's counseling required, because uh, you know, you know, the physical body just is not, the problem is not just the physical body. They're going through some other mental or emotional challenges in their life, and uh, healing light therapies. So pretty much any modality that can help the patient get the results that they're looking for, I will recommend. Many of those modalities I do myself, and I will also refer out if I need to do that. So to schedule a consultation, you can um, go to my website, ayurvedichealingcenter.com or call me, 248-685-3489. I'm also on social media, Facebook or Instagram, and um, easy to find. Thank you. What is one thing that you want people watching this video to take away from it? One thing that everyone, and especially the youth of, of this country can do is to meditate. Um, our youth and really, I would say almost everyone is very susceptible to anxiety, depression, confusion, because of the information that is available outside, because of so much that we can do and so much is upon us. So what meditation does, it will allow anybody practicing it is to get an internal reference. So that internal reference <clears throat> can act like a compass with which we can navigate the external world. With the meditation, 
also you can create the internal environment which is much stronger than the pressures outside. So there's one thing that anybody can do without having to know how meditation works is if you have an opportunity to learn meditation, sound-based meditation, learn the meditation, it has the power to begin to change your life and your health for the better. All right, Mina, thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you, Shreya. Thank you for having me. This video was brought to you by Detroit Education Society, DES. DES tutors Detroit school students online in English and STEM. If you appreciate the information in this video, please visit the DES website, DetroitEducation.org, and consider making a small donation. Thank you.